Dear CRS members, dear colleagues and friends, I'm excited to be recording my first video message for you today. My name is Tom Lammers from the University of Aachen and I'm freshly installed as your new president. I hope you all had a very good summer and a great start of the fall. I also hope you had the chance to attend our annual meeting at the Paris Hotel in Las Vegas, because the meeting was really great in many different regards. We had over 1,250 attendees from over 45 different countries. And we had more than 800 oral talks and poster contributions, all on cutting edge drug delivery science. We also handed out more than 80 awards to people who really made a difference. So this year's meeting was a great success and next year's meeting will certainly be at least equally good because after five long years, including two online years, we are finally going to be back in Europe. To be more exact, we're going to be in Bologna in the heart of Italy from July 8th to July 12th. Bologna inofficially goes as the food capital of Italy with many traditional trades such as bolognese sauce or lasagna. Bologna also officially goes as the city with the world's oldest university. And as such, it has an enormously long tradition of science and education. Dating back to 1088, which is the year when the Alma Mater Studiorum, the University of Bologna was founded. The term Alma Mater is likely something many of you will have heard of before because we nowadays often use the University of Bologna's motto to indicate one's home university. For the annual meeting in Bologna, we're currently in the process of compiling the AMPC, the annual meeting program comedy. Two major appointments have already been made and I'm very happy to inform you that Paolo de Cuzzi from Genova will be serving as the chair of the AMPC next year. Also, Asaf Zinger from the Technion in Haifa will be acting as the co-chair. The appointments and the roles of the other members of the AMPC are currently being negotiated, and I'll be very happy to update you on this in my next video message. What I can already update you now on is that we've installed and integrated all new CRS board members, and we allocated liaison roles to them. So from now onwards, Ryan Donnelly will be serving as the board liaison for the focus groups. Yun Yeo will work with the Young Scientists Committee. Bruno Sarmento will remain to be in charge of the international chapters. Maria Theresa Parakia will be our industry liaison. Tejal Desai will be connecting to the EDI committee and to the awards committee. Maria Vicente switched from director at large to secretary, and she will also serve as the AMPC liaison. Avi Schrödel moved up from secretary to president elect. And Christine Allen will be taking on the duties of the past president, which include overseeing the nomination processes. So, in this regard, please note that nominations are open now for the board of directors positions. And they will remain to be open for one more month until November 6. So please do take a look at the, CR, at the CRS website um, and let us know if you're interested. Our first board meeting with the new team will be somewhere next week. And in that meeting, we'll be mainly focusing on getting our new strategic plan going. This plan has five main pillars, which are to represent the absolute best in drug delivery science, to foster collaboration and engagement with industry, to ensure that our members can access and engage with CRS globally to advance diversity, equity, and inclusion within CRS and the drug delivery field as a whole. And lastly, to reevaluate, improve, and expand our communication efforts, including by even more prominent presence online and in social media. With regard to the latter, I'd like to draw your attention to two upcoming online events. The first one is a virtual symposium focusing on women's health, more specifically on harnessing innovation in drug delivery for women's health applications. This symposium is chaired by Hagar Labuda from Toronto and Rahima Benabur from Chapel Hill. It'll take place on October 26, 27, and it will be completely free for our members. Those that are not members can sign up at the cost of a regular uh, annual membership, which will then last actually until the end of 2024. So you'll end up getting, instead of one year, you'll end up getting 1.3 years of membership and on top of that, you get to attend this exciting symposium for free. The second event is a bit more out, but the dates are already fixed. So on November 29th and 30, we will have a virtual symposium on oral delivery of peptides, of oligonucleotides, and of proteins. So please all mark your agendas. October 26, 27, Women's Health Symposium. November 29, 30, Innovations in Oral Drug Delivery of Biologic Symposium. Also, please regularly check our website and our feed on Twitter or on X 
in order to be learning more on upcoming activities and to stay informed on awards and nominations. Thank you all very much for being engaged in CRS and looking forward to meeting you somewhere soon, either online or in person.